Look at that. <laughs> Your boy Shake. Every time I see Dwight Howard do this opening little custom thing he does, it looks so stupid. Really, Dwight, you don't have a jump shot. Why do you pretend like you do as a pregame ritual? So this should be a good game. As you can see, I'm starting over. Carmelo Anthony. We'll be guarding up. We'll be guarding Hidu Turkulu all game. Turk has to shoot it. Up oh, easy steal. Good play. I'm gonna play the outside. Ah, they don't want to throw me the alley. Get a quick layup. Got it. Good move, Amari. They always do the drive and pump fake move every single time they go to the basket. And it works almost flawlessly. So I'm working on my team. I'm going to try my best to get the team back to normal. A nice take by Brewer. Easy layup. That was a great block. I'm in the corner. I'm in the corner. Damn. Got to me a little late. Ugh. I'm open on the elbow. Take a couple steps in. Easy shot. Bucket all day. Oh, wasn't on him. Ah, he missed it. Good job. Bouncing out to the corner. I'm wide open right here. I'll take the shot all day. Ooh, with the fadeaway. Misses. I'm down court already. See, I have a call for the ball. I'm on elbow. Layup. Easy bucket, baby. Easy bucket. Me against Jameer Nelson. This ball movement, pivot foot. Ah, no bucket. What do you guys think about Jameer Nelson? He's been the point guard for Orlando for several years. Do you guys think they should trade him? Get somebody else? I mean, you guys think that if they would have traded him a long time ago for somebody else, that Dwight Howard would have stayed? Some of you guys know before, I used to run plays. It's an easy shot. I could do that all day. See, now I'm warming up. I, I teach my brother, man. I teach him all the time that get that mid-range, that free throw shot right. Are they going to get the ball? Oh, that's... <laughs> Did I just tap the ball and make it go off of his leg? I'm sitting on 15 points. One assist, 67% from the field. Feeling real nice right now to Melo. And he gets it, even with the foul. J.J. Redick open for three. This is what these guys do. They shoot threes. You're not going to see me up. I'm going to kill you all day with the in and out move. Mid-range jump his moves. Good block, Chandler. I don't. Oh, my God. He almost missed that. <laughs> A little spin move on Jameer. I guess he was under the hoop. Missed that dunk and it still goes in. Dwight Howard over the whole team. Damn. Okay, I got dunk though. Give it to me on the elbow. There we go. There we go. Ugh. That's all day. Buckets in your face, boy. Jameer Nelson does it. He's not that big of a player. I'm wide open right here. Got him. Oh, that was good D. That was really good defense. And he kicked it out to Dwight Howard. Shooting threes all day. That's all they do. Quality look my ass. Another three. These guys plan on winning this game from beyond the arc. And this is just the way Orlando plays. If the White Howard's hot, he's hot. If he's not, they shoot threes. But I'm not shooting threes. Not as fast as you used to. Another three, and it's in and out. Was that big, fat-ass Glenn Davis? Glenn Davis, my brother once told me he's the most goofiest player in the league. Why does Big Baby Davis always fall down every single game he plays? You guys ever noticed that? 
And now they're winning by one point. How does this happen? This is the beginning of the of the fourth quarter. Oh, two minutes into the fourth quarter. Yes, you dropped the ball. It's easy fast break for me. I can't. Ooh. <laughs> I can dunk. I just don't think Dwight Howard should be thinking that Orlando is not a good enough team, you know, because he's part of the problem. You know, he's he's a beast. I mean, he's athletically unstoppable, but yet his offensive ability is trash. I look at Dwight Howard as someone who is an elite scorer. So you're gonna have to have a team. He's gonna have to play for a team that has other scores. Dwight is, is one of my favorite players in the league. I love his personality. Look at this, another bad three-point shot. But I just don't think that he, I, I just hope he doesn't feel, that's a good pass. Come on, shoot that. See, I don't get the assist right. Oh, I do get the assist. <laughs> I was about to say. So Dwight is actually in demand of a trade right now. And, you know, I wonder how you guys feel about that. Where do you think he should go? How do you think he'll benefit the next team he goes to? If he hits that, he missed it. Do you think he'll benefit the next team he goes to? Good play! Damn! Brewer, you've been balling lately, man. Do your thing, baby boy. If we trade him, we could still be a playoff contender. I really don't know what Orlando's going to do. That's a bad play right there. I just love how the defense is psychic. He's got his back to me. He has no idea I'm passing the ball. Since when does Glenn Davis have psychic defense? You see, most players, in the, and if you try to justify this, most players will put both their hands up. But he knows exactly. And why does Amari do that dumbass turnaround animation? I don't understand this. I hate it when you pass the ball to an open player with the defensive player's back to him. And your man does that turnaround animation as if the ball's being thrown behind him like he already knows it's being thrown behind him. Passing in this game is terrible. They need to fix this. Psychic defense. Where they get this straight out of EA Sports Madden Football Playbook? Come on, son. You know, the overall point is when the game is on the line, the computer starts to do things to cheat you to make a comeback. He missed like four threes in a row, and he just throws up a three from damn near half court. Come on, man. We up by four points. Y'all ain't making a comeback. What do you think, Melo? There you go. That's a terrible shot. He makes it anyway. Why does Big Baby Davis have the ball? Okay, giving it down to Dwight. You damn right you charged him. We need to move the ball around. This team is down by six. Couple steps inside, mid-range. I'm all day in your face. How about some Jake Brown in your face? 30 seconds left. These guys are shooting threes. You're shooting threes, you're going to die by the three. You ride by the three, you're going to die by the three. Give me the ball. I'm on the elbow, I'm gonna make these guys pay. In your face, boy! Get off me, son! <laughs> game over. Oh, that was a great game. So let me know in the comments. What do you guys think is gonna happen with Dwight Howard and the Orlando Magic? You know, a lot of you guys ask me what my jump shot and my release is. I may have to put this inside the description. Nice little in and out move. My release is number 57. I love that nice little arm up after the shot, the follow through. It's the patented shakedown 2012 move right there in real life. But my jump is number one. So my release is 57, jump number one. Welcome to an NBA starting five. You have to be excited about the chance to prove yourself as a starter. Any thoughts you'd like to share? Yeah, I'm really about to tear this league in half, man. I mean, it's kind of crazy for them to be starting me over Carmelo Anthony. But hey, I mean, the opportunity presented itself. 
Now this league is about to see what Jake Brown's really made of. Let's just say that y'all about to see the real deal right now. <laughs>